Elise, thank you so much. This afternoon, President Trump is expected to sign a bill extending funding for the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund. It's called the Never Forget the Heroes, James Adroga, Ray Pfeiffer, and Luis Alvarez, permanent authorization of the September 11th Victim Compensation Fund Act. The bill passed in the Senate last week after emotional testimony from first responders, including NYPD Detective Luis Alvarez, who passed away in June. Joining us this morning are Joe McKay, 9-11 first responder. We have Mary Jane Greco as well, the wife of a 9-11 first responder, Paul Greco. Joe and Mary, both you volunteer for Ray Pfeiffer and the organization, the foundation. This couldn't be a more personal day, I would imagine, for the two of you. Yeah. If this passes today and we see the president sign, how are you going to be feeling? Um, bittersweet for me. I mean, it's uh, it, it, the victory down in Washington. It was for tens of thousands of people that have been affected by 9/11. Um, but the the fight continues. There's a lot of people that are sick and still need help. Mm -hmm. You know. And Mary, Mary Jane, when you look at your husband and you see everything he's going through, we've been following your family closely. You yes. have had one thing after another. We have. It's you had a fire in May yeah. uh, in your house. I think it was May. Was April 29th, April month 29th. after we moved in. Yes. Uh, so how is he doing and how is your family doing? As good as can be expected. You know, sure. he's got his good days and bad days like everybody else, mm -hmm. all the guys, you know. Sometimes they're really good and sometimes it's really bad. But um, it's coming together. It's coming together, and we have great support. Mm -hmm. You know, through Ray Pfeiffer, through other um, firefighters that he's worked with, it's really a big family. As you think about the timeline, right, you see those images, it takes you back to that day, and now it has taken us years to get to where we are. Mm. How does that make you feel that a country that has said we would never forget, it's been a struggle for you to now get this permanent funding? Well, uh, it's it's been tough. It's been a long road um, in, in D.C. Um, starting way back with uh, you know uh, uh, John Field and and a lot of the others. Um, it, I mean, again, it's like uh, it's bittersweet, you know, in a nutshell. Is it emotional even for you to talk about it now as you think about yeah. your yeah you think mm, about your your friends your family in that community and what you what you guys are all continuing we to still go through see what everybody's going through years and years later mm -hmm. you know emotionally physically everything mm -hmm. it's difficult and you know at least this is bringing some form of peace of mind yeah. to everybody is that I guess the best thing you could ask for right now, because everyone's dealing with health issues. You see your friends passing away. Yeah. Is that what you can just hang on to is, well, at least we have that peace of mind? Yeah. Yeah, it's tens of thousands of people are going to be helped now but mm -hmm. with this bill passing. So. Um, and I think that's yeah. a good thing to note, because it's not just first responders. Correct. Other people will be benefiting from this. Will you just explain that? Sure. Anybody that was down in the area mm -hmm. um, that was exposed on that day, we have students from Stuyvesant High School now yeah. that are becoming sick. Um, anybody that worked down there, construction workers, iron workers, anybody involved mm. um, that has, expo has exposure and is now sick from the illnesses associated with it can benefit from this bill. You know, Joe, I see you taking a deep breath, and I wonder what you're feeling when you do that. <laughs> uh, a lot of emotion. I, I mean, it's been a long fight down in D.C., um, you know, to, to have the people that walk the halls with us, if you like Lou and, and Ray Pfeiffer, um, them being gone and, and us carrying on, you know, their... Uh, their fight. It's, uh, it's like I said, it's very emotional and uh, we're just, uh, we're happy that we're, you know, we're getting, finally getting the, the help to these people that are going to need it. Yeah, when I saw Mr. Alvarez's face up there, it was like his final will. This is how you are feeling. Your whole lives have been changed from this day forever. Mm -hmm. So when you see this, Mary Jane, how do you feel looking at your husband and seeing, you know, almost like your husband's face is reflected in all these first Oh, 100%. Absolutely it is. You know, it's sad. It's 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 a sad thing to see these guys going through this and these women and you know everybody that was involved. They all worked very hard that day, and didn't stop. You know, they did it for months and months on end. And now to see the way that they're living their lives and what it's come down to, it's very sad. It's very emotional. Do you feel like you always had the support of the American people? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so does that make you feel a little bit that you know yeah, that the that, people here uh, after 9/11 to see, to see the way the country came together. Yeah. It put wind in our sails. It, it really, you know, when, when those days, when it, those really tough days, you know, mm. three funerals and going back to the pile and working, um, to see the way the country came together, 
uh, to me, that that's that's what helped me get through it, and I, I believe probably most of us that sure. worked down on the pile felt the same way. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm okay. I, you know, I'm I'm glad that I'm able to to help. Uh, you know, with this uh, with the whole effort. You know, I had to retire early from my illnesses, but. Uh, I, I was very happy that I, I got involved with this. It's very rewarding, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, and I'm okay, you know, I'm, I'm doing okay. Spoken like a true hero. He's yeah. like, I'm fine, yeah. don't talk about yeah. me, I'm doing okay. Well, we can't thank you enough for everything that you did, that you were going through to your husband as well. Our love to all of you, and I'm so thankful to see that this is gonna finally come to fruition so that you can have that peace of mind that you deserve. Absolutely, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for being here, both of you. Thank, thank you for you. having us.